All right, guys, how's everybody doing today? I'm going to take over here. I'm going to hit the record button, so this will be recorded. I have 45 minutes. I'll probably take up uh, most of the time. Um, today, I'm going to teach you guys how to master the tape. I call it the greatest options trading tool ever created. We had a signal today here in Valero, VLO. Um, that was a huge winning trade today. Uh, puts went from $1.20 to $1.60. So about 33% chance, 33% uh, gains on that one. So I'm going to talk to you guys about institutional order flow in the option market. If you guys have any present uh, questions throughout the presentation, uh, I multitask while I multitask. So feel free to ask any questions in the chat box. But what I'm going to teach you guys today is unusual option activity, otherwise Ichimoku, uh, otherwise known as institutional order flow. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So. so Little risk disclaimer, I have to put this in every single webinar. Day trading, short-term trading, option tradings, and futures tradings are extremely risky undertaking. They are generally not appropriate for someone with little capital, little to no trading experience, or low tolerance for risk. Never execute a trade unless you're willing and prepared to lose your entire investment. No trades are recommendations or advice, and we cannot be sued for losses of capital. All trades are for educational purposes only. Contact your broker, register an investment advisor in terms of execution, margin, and other capital requirements. Everybody's watching today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers on www.optionhacker.com and www.alphashark.com. Now that the boring stuff is out of the way, to give a little profile about myself, um, I have been in the game of the stock market and trading for a very long time. Here's a picture with me in Dallas with Mr. Mark Cuban. Uh, Mark Cuban just invested $7 million in a cryptocurrency fund, actually. So I saw him in Dallas and said, hey, I'm a big fan. I went to Illinois, Champaign-Urbana. Uh, I know you went to Indiana. Uh, big sports guys, you might know, if I take a picture with you. So he's like, yeah, cool, no problem. Um, so a little history about myself, and I'll bring up my statements here. Um, I am a full-time trader. I have missed four days this year. And actually, when I when I miss, I'm actually on my phone trading. So I've been trading for 14 years as a full-time trader. I'm 38 years old, so I started trading at the age of 24. That is really all I know is how to trade. I traded down at the Chicago Board Options Exchange for um, about 10 years. Uh, and uh, I can show you my statements here, so let me just bring this up. So I have made millions in my trading career, and uh, that's not profits minus, uh, that's not profits and that I lost that money like most traders do. That is net profits. So let me just show you guys here a couple of my statements from back in the day. Um, okay, so 2006, and this is before CLE, so payment for order flow uh, and commissions. So this is 2006. This is where I got a little ugly. Um, I lost $496,000 in a stock named AMAG. Um, it still was up on the year, but you can see a couple of things that are really important here. Um, that date, 12 29, 2006 and then you see my name's on it, Andrew Keen, and this was my clearing firm at the time, Goldman Sachs. So that was 2006. Um, what happened in 2006 is I took off uh, and went to Thailand to uh, understand uh, myself a little bit better. I came back. I had fifty thousand dollars to my name. That's it, guys. And then I started to trade, and I was on fire. As you can see here, in two thousand and seven, uh, I made about one point five million dollars. Once again, that's before paying for order flow. Uh, Kid on the market just changed to Alpha Shark. We just rebranded uh, my name here, Goldman Sachs. You see the date, twelve twenty eight. So that was two thousand and seven. Uh, this is two thousand and eight. 2008, uh, you can see here, made three and a half million dollars. So in a course of two years, I made about five million dollars trading. 2008, once again, my name on here, and then the clearing firm here. So I have been in the game for a very long time. You know, I kind of differentiate myself from everybody else because I'm trading actively throughout the course of the day. Um, I have positions on. I'm watching order flow right now. Um, I do have positions on. Uh, you can see my P&L for the day. I am down on the year this year. Um, this year has been a really rough year. But, you know, if you're going to make millions of dollars trading, when you lose, you want to lose small, right? And you can see my P&L here, down about $12,000 this year, uh, down about $2,000 uh, today. 
So that's a little history about me. Um, you know, I am a full-time trader. I'm a pretty big trader. Uh, on a busy day, I can trade 500 options. Uh, on a slower day, maybe I'll even trade only 50 options. I took two trades today, day trades, um, in Apple and in Facebook. I am short Facebook. I'm up $194. I'm long Apple, long up 200 uh, down. See, see this P&L move. Okay, so. Now I run in one of the biggest, largest trading rooms in the world. We're going to talk about that later, and we're going to give you the ability to get in there at the trial price. So the trading room is open all day long. This is the current trading room in here. So when you guys join the trading room, you'll get in here. You can see if someone will be talking here, the, the volume will come on here. So we have close to two. We have close to 300 tr members of the trading room. So we have one of the biggest, largest active communities. It is full audio and visual throughout the course of the day. I run the first hour and 15 minutes of the day. So now I kind of all over the place. You know, I'm not really in one set place. Uh, I was just in New York. Uh, I'm going to Iceland on Wednesday. Uh, I'm in Dallas most of the time. I'm in San Diego some of the times. I'm in Chicago for a week in September. So really kind of just all over the place here, guys. But you know, the greatest thing about trading is the ability to be anywhere in the world. Okay, you don't have to be set down, sitting down in front of your computer. Um, at home, you can travel the world, and that's one of my big passions in life. So, regular contributor on CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, BNN Canada, uh, floor trader at the Chicago Board Options Exchange, um, and for I'm in the current process of hopefully getting my own show on CNBC on primetime for the Airbnb business model, which is very exciting for me. So. Let's talk about the problem. You know, we have a really good audience today. I want to thank uh, thank Traders Talk for inviting me to speak again. As you see, we see more traction going as these events go on. Um, this is the biggest audience I've spoken in front of to one of their uh, webinars. I have done over 500 live webinars in the last five years, and I've taught over 50,000 students how to trade. So the really big problem, if you think about it, is that 90% of all traders lose money. Okay. And if you think about the reason that most traders lose money, there's a couple of reasons why traders lose money. Number one, which is the most important one, poor reward to risk setup. Okay. You guys should be thinking about every single trade as you reward to risk setup. How much you're willing to risk on a trade versus how much you potentially want to make on a trade. If you're taking a trade where you're risking uh, $500 and your reward is 100 bucks, that's not a good trade, guys. Okay. So number one reason, poor reward to risk setups. Number two reason, I would say poor technical analysis. And this is something I've kind of struggled with in my trading. I used to be really, really poor and bad at reading the charts. I have gotten better over time, so I'm much better at reading the charts. Um, but you know, poor technical analysis, um, poor ability to read the charts. Number three, uh, emotions. Okay. You can trade in a simulated account, and I actually recommend that all traders start in a simulated account. Once you make money on a simulated account, then you can open to a real dollar account. But you know your core emotions. When you're down money, as I've been down money before, your feelings are just awful. You just feel so bad. You don't know why you're losing money. You just you just you trade poorly, and you're like, oh, if I can only get back to break even. Uh, then you're like, oh, if I can only get a little bit back. You know, poor uh, trading because of core emotions. And number four, you don't have a coach. Or a guide on your side. Okay, trading alone is very, very hard. You don't have someone sitting there saying, "Hey, you should be doing this. You shouldn't be doing this." Okay, Michael Jordan. What I always say, Michael Jordan, one rookie of the year. He put up like 30 points a game his first year, um, but he didn't win a championship until Phil Jackson came on board. Okay, I want to be your Phil Jackson. I want to be your coach. I want to teach you guys and guide you. And when you become a member of the trading room. You get personal access to me 24-7. As I've said and reiterated, I am not a registered investment advisor, so I cannot give recommendations or advice, but I can offer my opinion. And when you guys become a member of the community, um, you will be able to get access to me whenever you want. You can ask any questions. Um, you know, you can ask any questions to me. You can say, hey, wait, okay, what do you think of this? Will you look at this? Um, and that is quite the... Uh, Quite the undertaking for me because I do get a lot of emails from subscribers. So most retail traders lose money, but on the flip side or the token, institutions 
usually make money, okay? There are institutions that trade out there, okay? They trade, it's called institutional order flow. So out the, through the course of the day, and we're gonna go show you guys some examples here today, um, I'm watching institutional order flow in the option market. So this is a proprietary-based scanner. Let me bring it up here. Okay, this is a scanner that I show in my trading room. You guys will get access to see this in the trading room. Okay, and it's just institutional order flow. So every single order that hits the tape, and you'll see this thing kind of flow through here. Every single order that hits the tape is institutional order flow in the option market. Okay, so right here, trader just bought 9,000 GG SEP 13 puts for 26 cents. Who knows who this trader is? We don't know. They just bought another 9,000. So they bought about 18,000 double G SEP 13 puts for 26 cents. So I watch institutional order flow in the option market, okay? There are 8,700 publicly traded companies out there. There are, there are uh, 4,199 with options in them, okay? So there's all these order flow that comes across the course of the day. I will teach you guys a proprietary place, trace plan, uh, trading plan called the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan, how I dissect and decipher if these trades are hedge or speculation. Calls and puts, which are the, what options are, are only used for two ways. They are used to get long or short. They are used for speculation or a hedge. So literally all day long, I watch this order flow I dissect and analyze this order flow. And when you guys become members of the trading room, you'll get the ability to watch a scanner for free. This is a $400 scanner, and you'll get the ability to watch this order flow throughout the course of the day, 100% free. We actually don't even own the technology of this. This is owned by my good friend, Henry Schwartz, who uh, owns it in uh, New York City, okay? So what we are watching is the biggest traders in the world. Do they make money every single day? Absolutely not. But over time, they do make money. So these are your Carl Icons of the world. These are your David Einhorns of the world. These are your Bill Ackmans of the world. We all know that if an option, sorry, if a stock was gonna go from 30 to 40, okay? And if you don't trade options, you should start learning how to trade options. So if a stock was gonna go from $30 to $40, right? 30 to 40. If you bought the stock at 30 and you sold it at 40, you would get 33% returns. However, if you bought a call option, it's potentially possible you could buy a call for a dollar that goes to $10. How much is that? That's 1,000% returns. So what is better returns? 1,000 or 33? Obviously 1,000. So when I'm watching guys, I'm watching institutional order flow in the option market and I'm looking to allocate my capital on these trades. We literally just saw a trade in Viacom B that I announced to my trading room that worked really well. We had a signal this morning in uh, Valero. That one worked out really well. And I'll just show you these two examples today of these trades, guys, that work so well and how you guys can, um, how you guys can take these signals. So why do we care about UOA or unusual option activity as I call it. The institutions have more information than we do. They have access to technology, manpower, and capital. There's a show on CNBC, it's called American Greed. Uh, Raj Rotman was talking about why he, um, you know, basically um, having insider information, okay? So if I potentially knew a stock was gonna go from 30 to 40, I personally would not buy stock. I would buy call options because that gives me the right, but not uh, that gives me the right, but not obligation to buy a certain stock at a certain price between now and expiration. So when I watch this, guys, there's been so many examples in the course of the last four years where I've been able to take a trade that has gone from one dollar to ten dollars, okay, or something to that extent. We see a lot of institutional order flow in the option market. So remember, guys, there's only two types of options. Let me write this down. There are calls and there's puts. Why would an institution buy calls? There's only two reasons an institution would buy calls. They would buy calls for speculation to the upside. And they would buy calls as a hedge 
against long position. Sorry, against short position. Okay, that's the only reason they ever buy calls. Otherwise, why would you need this? Okay, puts are bought for one or two reasons: speculation to the downside, and we'll show you an example in Valero that if you got in this signal, you could have made already made thirty percent gains. And number two, hedge against a long stock position. Okay, so this is why calls and puts are traded. Let me go back in here. Okay. You can too trade like a hedge fund manager. Okay. All the ideas and concepts that I'm coming up with are not any of my ideas. They're somebody else's ideas. And this is why the problem, what you guys don't realize when you're trading, the reason that you're probably not making money trading, and I say there's four steps of the trading process. Usually, unfortunately, you lose a lot of money trading. That's usually your first step. Your second step is you lose less money. Then your next step is you actually start making money. And then your next step is you make money consistently over time. And that's kind of where I am in my trading. Okay. And I'm here to teach and educate you guys um, on how you can potentially do this using unusual option activity, using institutional order flow in the option market okay. institutional order flow in the option market so you too can trade exactly like this and this is what I teach my traders in the trading room throughout the course of the day so what does institutional order flow look like and this is a trade that hit the tape today guys okay so look at this trade here in Valero we talk about puts puts are bought and I can show you the actual uh, trade here on my trade alert scanner so I literally just uh, copy and paste of this. So this is a signal we saw from earlier today. We saw an institutional order flow of a trader buying 1,000 of the Valero SEPT 68 puts for 122. So what is the breakdown of this? Trader buys 1,000 Valero SEPT 68 puts for 122. Okay, how much are they willing to risk on this trade? It's about 122,000. How much they could potentially make? Um, in theory, a stock could go to zero, but why would they be buying puts? We talked about it, speculation or a hedge. So let's do the breakdown of this trade. I announced this to my subscriber base, and let's see where these puts went in value um, throughout the course of the day. Let me bring it up here. And this is a signal from today, guys. This isn't a signal from a month ago, three months ago. I wanted to show you something that happened today where you could, if you got into the signal, you could have made money. So, what does unusual option activity look like? The first thing is the trade size. Okay, one thousand. That's a pretty big order, right? Someone buys one thousand puts. Okay, so they bought a thousand. Symbol is Valero, V L O. Strike the sixty-eight puts. Expiration is September. Price one twenty-two. And then we can see where the stock was trading at the time. And this happened today, guys. Stock was trading 68.62. Well, look what happened if you would have bought these puts today when I announced this live to the whole subscriber base in the trading room. These went from 120 to 160. Okay. This isn't my idea. This isn't my concept. I'm not sitting here and saying, hey, I think Valero is going to. Uh, Valero is going to sell off here. I'm noticing that an institution is buying these puts. So if they buy these puts, I don't mind taking a little bit of capital and saying, hey, this is a good idea. I'm going to buy these puts too. And we're going to talk about, you know, how you can, why you would take these. And I call it the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. So I'm going to teach you that to you here, guys. And then look at the chart here, guys. And we talked about where the stock was trading at the time. So if you bought a 10 lot of these, okay. 10 lot, 20% stop loss, you would have had $200 of risk, and you would have made $400. So how does that sound for a reward to risk setup? You buy them for $1.20, you leave a 20% stop loss, they're up to $160 here. If you look at the chart of Valero, the minute they bought those puts, stocks started to sell off. 
So we saw the stock was trading 68, uh, 66. Look at that, guys. 68, 66. The high of the day. Now it's trading on the low of the day. Do you think this institution knew something? They are up for uh, they're up forty thousand dollars on this trade. Thirty-three percent gains in the course of hours on these puts here in Valero. So obviously somebody knew something. So when I go in here and I'm going to teach you guys my proprietary based trading plan right now of how I know which trades to take. So let me bring up a Word document. Okay, I call this the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. Okay, so let me bring up 24. O C R R B T T. The Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. Okay, so the first thing I look at, and once you guys join the trading room, you're going to be able to look at that scanner in real time. So don't sit here and be like, AK, okay, well, where do I get this unusual option activity? You will get it once you join the trading room and you'll get the ability to see the scanner in real time live. So the first thing I look at is the option volume versus open interest. Okay. What is the difference between option volume and open interest? Volume is how many options trade today. Open interest tells me how many options are, um, sorry, so the volume tells me how many options traded today. Open interest tell me how many options exist before today. So I want the volume to be greater than open interest. The next thing I look at is the chart. Okay, So I want the chart to line up. So I would say I would, if there are calls being bought, I want a bullish chart. If there's puts being bought, I want a bearish chart. So always make sure that the chart lines up with your theory or your hypothesis. Then we have R&R. &R, and some people like rest and relaxation. AK, no so much. I prefer a risk versus reward set. So if you bought the Valero puts today for $1.20, most likely you're not just going to hold them and you're going to let them expire worthless. Okay. What you can do here is we tell our beginner traders to use a 20% stop loss. So if you buy them for $1.20, you're going to have a stop at $1. Reward. And when you guys take advantage of the offer we have at the end, we're going to teach you guys proprietary based rewards or profit targets. Okay? And this looks something like 130, 140. 150 and 160. Today, you would have got out of all these, you would have made $250 on $200 of risk in hours. Okay. Then we have break even. If you hold the tall expiration, you always want to know your break even. These were the 68 puts, so the break even on these would be 68 minus $1.20, which would be 66.80. That would be your break even on this trade. We have time. How much time do you want to give this trade? When I'm trading front month, they have very high time decay. So I personally like to take off my position by the end of the day. So for me, this probably would have been a day trade. And your targets. Okay. We will discuss all your targets of where to take them off when you guys purchase this. Um, so you're going to get the trading room, you're going to get the scanner, and you're going to get a, a course that we're going to offer for free. And I'll give you guys a chance to look at some charts here at the end as well. So this is institutional order flow in the option market. I call it the Oak Ribbit Trading Plan. O-C-R-R-B-T-T. -T. So when I watch this order flow, guys, okay, I know a lot of this stuff is kind of fluff. So we see Valero puts trading here. Volume is less than open interest. Okay. See B-H-G-E. Volume is less than open interest. AT&T, volume is less than open interest. Um, so I know if volume is less than open interest, I'm not going to pay the trade. I want the volume to be greater than open interest to, for me to move to the next step of my trading plan. So the first thing, which is the most important thing, is volume versus open interest. Then the chart, then my risk versus reward setup, then my proprietary-based profit targets, and then my... Um, 
TNT, you know, tacos and tequila started in San Diego, but I care more about my time and target. Because if I'm long options, I'm gonna be short decay. So how much time do I wanna give this option? Okay. So that is it. So you say, hey, AK, this looks great so far. How can I use this? How is this gonna help me with my trading? How can I potentially make more money using your system, using your philosophy, and using your strategy? Why take these trades? The hedge funds and bigger traders have more information than us. If you guys are making your own trades on yourself, you are absolutely crazy. I don't know why you would take your own trades. You know, if Carl Icahn, obviously I don't know who he is, but if he called me up and he said, hey, AK, I've got this really good position. I want to put it on. Do you want to get a piece of the action? I'll let you on for a little bit piece of the action. I would say, sounds great. Let me on board, right? And I would take part of my money and allocate it towards a trade. And this is what I'm doing throughout the course of the day. I'm taking my capital. I'm trying to find the best possible setups. Um, some days there's one signal, some days there's six signals, some days there's no signals. And allocate my capital to what I think the best potential trades are. So the hedge funds and big traders have more information than us. That is why they're always getting in trouble for insider information. Trade with the pros. Imagine knowing Carl Icahn's or David Einhorn's position before it is disclosed. And most importantly, guys, all of these trades are public information. So if you, they came in here and they just bought some puts in AXON, or you can see here, volume is less than open interest. So if the institution um, basically takes a trade and they make money on their trade, they could get in trouble for insider information or insider trading. You cannot get in trouble for insider information because every single one of these trades is public once it is executed. Okay, so let's say um, you know, today they bought a big block of Viacom B calls as well. So some trader bought 7,000 Viacom B. If they come out over the weekend and say, hey, AT&T is going to buy Viacom B and the stock goes from 30 to 40, and you're along those calls, you cannot possibly get in tra trouble at all because you're trading on public information. However, the trader that bought these calls and initiated the trade, they can actually get in trouble for insider trading because they had information. So all these trades are public orders. There is nowhere else in the world that you can find the scanner, guys. Okay, Nowhere else in the world you can get the scanner, and we offer it to you guys in the trading room uh, as part of our membership um, and become an Alpha Shark subscriber. Imagine knowing Carl Icahn or David Iron's positions before it is closed. Like I said, guys, all of these is public information. So you say this is great. Hey, where do I go from here? Do you have a trade for us right now? Yeah. Um, well, this is a, the one I think was the one of the best trades today. Um, and they moved a little bit too fast. You could have made money already. So Viacom B um, Institution bought some September September uh, calls at Viacom B. If you bought a twenty lot, you're ready. You're ready to be up two hundred dollars. So Viacom B guys. Institution bought 11,000 Viacom B, SEP 30 calls, and when this signal triggered, you could have got in at 45 cents. Right now, they're 55 cents, so it's your choice if you want to chase these, but you know, you'd be ready to be up uh, 10 cents on a 20 lot, let's say you took 20, so that would be $200 of profit right here on Viacom B. So Viacom B, I think, is the best signal today from the sides of Valero. Um, there are some calls being bought in Johnson Controls, so keep an eye on Johnson Controls. Jan 40s, this is the second straight day. Uh, you can buy some Jan 40 Johnson Controls for 165, 30% stop loss on those. So those are some signals you can take right now. Okay, so you say, how do we filter these trades? This has taken me 14 years to figure out how to potentially filter these trades and how to get the best signals out of here. So what we are offering you guys today, and I'm gonna give you guys plenty of time to ask any questions throughout the course of this thing. Uh, we have about 15 minutes left. So we have a proprietary-based trading room, and I'll show you guys, this is the actual trading room, okay? We have 300 paid subscribers of the trading room, and then these are all the people. So this is an active community. As you can see here right now, Mike is talking. As you can see, his, well, you'll see it in a second. So Mike is on the horn talking. 
The trading room is open every single day from 8 a.m. Central Standard Time to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. So the room is open for uh, uh, seven hours every single day. We have five moderators that run the room. Uh, myself, I take the morning shift because the opening bell usually has the most action. And then here you get an open chat box of all the active com community. So the way it works is you get one moderator who's talking throughout the day. So there's always gonna be audio on, talking about their analysis, what they think can happen. And then you also have the active community of traders sharing their ideas and concept of what's going in, in the market. We have one of the largest paid all, uh, all day audio and visual trading rooms in the world. You can see um, someone's taking over someone's shift right now. So Mike is uh, leaving and then someone's gonna be taking over the shift here in a second. So this is the active community of the trading room guys and we want everybody to be a part of it. That's where we're giving you guys a special promotion and code for coming and attending this webinar. So what you'll get is, this is who is this good for? This is good for any trader, beginner, intermediate, or expert. A trader who actually wants to potentially make more money. A trader who can actually wants to learn and stop guessing for trades. Most of you guys are not making money because you're guessing for your trades. You're trying to figure out yourself, you know, where, what option to buy, where to take off the position, okay? That's now how trading should be. You should be following institutional order flow in the option market. Anybody who wants to have a coach and guide on their side and learn how I have made millions in my trading career, trading unusual option activity in institutional order flow. Okay, so go to the next slide. So what we guys are offering you guys today um, it's only $49. You guys can sign up at alphashark.com forward slash T talk. Okay. What you guys get for $49. If you've never been part of our trading room, you no, know, I say just try it out for one month. Okay. One month. It doesn't matter if you're in there for five hours a day. It doesn't matter if you're in there for one time for the whole month because the information you will learn will be amazing. So you get one month of the best live trading room in the world, okay? Five different moderators trading hundreds of thousands of dollars. I trade have about $100,000 in my trading account. Um, live audio and visual from these five different traders and an active community of almost 300 traders in that trading room. You also get trade alerts via text and email, day trades, swing trades, and earnings trades. Plus, what we're going to throw in today as a bonus, we're going to throw in our unusual option activity course. Okay, If you went to our website and just bought that today, that is a $497 value. Let me show you here, guys. Um, we're throwing that in today, and it's only $47. So let me go in here and show you my products. Mm -hmm. So this course we'll throw it in for free, guys. So this is how to trade unusual option activity. We're gonna give you on demand. It's a $497 course, okay? You don't change any of these prices, that's how much it costs. So basically what you do, when you purchase it through this link, okay, and we only have 20 spots available and hopefully we will sell out of this. I see Mark is in, I see Mike is in, I see Anita is in, going through my emails right now. I see Jeff is in www.alphashark.com forward slash T talk for traders talk. So what you'll start with is you'll get the unusual option activity math uh, course on demand. This is about four hours long. So what you do, you'll purchase it. And the minute you get it, Scott is in the minute you get it. Um, it will be sent to your email. So when you guys purchase for $49 total, that's it guys. Okay. You'll get this course. It's $497. Take the weekend, understand it, learn it, what institutional order flow is, and why take these trades. Then, after this weekend, on Monday, you'll come into our trading room. You'll have one month to trade in our trading room with our community and with our moderators. We have traders, you know, I trade in usual option activity. If you don't, that's okay. We have one of the best future traders I've ever seen, Raul. He day trades futures all day long. 
We have another trader that takes um, trades futures and um, options. We have another trader that trades stock. So we have an active community of about 300 traders plus five moderators trading their own capital throughout the course of the day. Just stock or directional indexes. We have traders that trade everything. We have an, So we have me, I trade unusual option activity. Raul trades futures. Lance trades stocks, futures, and Forex. Uh, Steven trades stock and options. And Mike Day trades a lot of options. Um, so it's everything is included. Plus you'll get is a month of the text alerts and trade alerts. So if you can't, if you're not at your computer, both are at If you're not at your computer throughout the course of the day, you will get these included for free. Okay. Uh, so what you guys can do, you can sign up at www.alphashark.com forward slash T talk. So this is a 500, 800, about a $949 value. We're offering it to you guys for only $49 for the first month as a trial. Um, I'll say a couple things about this, and then I'll go through some charts here because we have plenty of time to look at some charts here. Number one, we will sell out. We only have 20 spots. I see Jack is in, and this is, I'll show you guys my email as, as, as more people just continue to sign up. So I see Jack is in. I see Dieter is in. So those are emails coming in right now, so I can just delete those. So we have 20 spots, guys. We have sold about eight so far. We only have 12 spots left of this promotion. So number one, we will most likely sell out of this. Uh, the second month goes to 149. You get to keep the course for free. Okay. I see uh, Laura is in. I see Ava Booth is in. So I just continue to see people taking advantage of this, guys. We're down to 10 spots here. We will sell out of this. So here's another one. Here's another one. Uh, we're down to 10 spots. So number one, guys, we will sell out at this price point. It's 49 for the first month. It renews at 149. Number two. If you guys cannot afford even $149, you really shouldn't be trading because $149, there's 22 trading days a day, uh, in a month, that's $7. I spend $12 a day on an organic cold press juice. So don't think of it as, hey, it's $49 or $149. Think about it as an investment in your education. If you actually have a really good tax guy, um, you can write this off because, um, of it, because it's for educational purposes only. So I would be talking to my tax guy um, because you can write this off for educational purposes only. So let me talk about what you get. Uh, let's go through some charts. So if anybody wants to look at any charts, just fire any charts and I will tell you bullish, bearish, or neutral here on the daily chart. Any charts you guys want. I used to call this lightning round when I just fire through the charts really quickly. I'm very good with technical analysis. Uh, Option Acker is a proprietary based scanner that takes all the trades and condenses it into the best trades of the day. So this, this option hacker gave me this one throughout the course of the day. All right, so any chart you guys want, Bank of America. Bank of America on the daily chart is bullish to neutral. I'd rather be long than short Bank of America. If I bought it, I'd have a stop at 23.13. I think Bank of America goes higher. Net is, oh, N is net sweet. Uh, looks like it's doing a cash deal at 109, so it's not irrelevant. Apple, um, a little concerned into the iPhone 8 numbers that are gonna come out here. Um, but I think it's okay to the long side. I think it takes out 162.51. Bullish on the daily, the two-day, the three-day, and the weekly chart. Apple's okay. Snapchat, I actually predicted the Snapchat short-term bottom. It has been the strongest stock over the course of the last two weeks. Where it stops, nobody mows. I think it tests up to 17. I think the short-term bottom is in. This was a huge reversal day. You could have bought it at 1260 with the stop under 1128. Snapchat looks good to the long side. Amazon, uh, short-term reversal here in Amazon. I think it will eventually get bought, but for the for the short-term basis, um, you know, it is seeing selling pressure. Futures up today, Amazon again. Downward trend, I would wait for a reversal bar. Um, I, doesn't, I don't think it breaks down under like 925, uh, but short-term, guys, it is kind of bearish. Long-term, I love it. Uh, Visa, Visa, is, looks like it's gonna go higher. It's gonna take out the 52-week highs again. Bullish on the daily, bullish on the two-day, bullish on the three-day, and bullish on the weekly. Dolphin, DLPH. Uh, we just sold two more guys. We're down to we're down to seven spots here, guys. T talk, and this is the kind of questions you can ask in the trading room throughout the course of the day. So it's an open audio. Um, you can private mentor me throughout the uh, private message me throughout the day. DLPH, I don't like that price action today. Possible short term reversal, reversal off that 52 week high. And I think it is a buy on any pullback. I would be looking to buy it around 90, 9130 with stop in the cloud around 89 ish. ISRG. ISJRG, uh, I think it takes out the highs here. 
998. It looks good. Bullish on the daily, two day, three day, and weekly chart. PayPal, I think Carl Icahn sold a lot of his position. Uh, it is a buy in any pullback. Uh, I think it's a buy um, around the 58 level. I think it takes out the highs here. Um, you know, possible short term reversal there, but I like PayPal alongside. Um, JP Morgan. JP Morgan's probably going to look like Bank of America here. Yeah, it's neutral to bullish here. Um, so it is neutral to bullish. I'd rather be long this short. I think there's better opportunities here in JP Morgan. Goldman Sachs probably going to look the same. All the banks usually kind of trade with each other. Uh, rather be long than short. Guthum, you're in. We're down to six spots, guys. We're down to six spot. I can do about uh, five more chop charts here, guys. Uh, Goldman Sachs, I think Goldman Sachs is okay here to the long side, rather be long than short, but I think it's pretty neutral here. BRK, that B. I can't find BRK, that B. BRK, oh, here it is. So Berkshire Hathaway uh, looks good here on the daily chart. I think it takes out the 52 week high. Um, I think it definitely goes higher. I'd be buying, looking to buy that at 175 with a stop under 168. Forex, give me any chart in Forex you want. I'll, I'll tell you what I think in Forex. I trade everything, guys. I trade the world. Jeff with a G is in. John is in. Uh, four spots left, guys. That's it. U.S. Uh, T Talk. Forex, uh, USD. I trade futures as well. Yep. I trade everything. USD CAD. USD CAD on the daily, very, very weak. I would only look to be shorted here. You can short any rally here. I think the, the short's going to be coming at around 126 uh, with about a 250 pip stop. Aussie USD. Aussie USD, I think it goes higher here. It's kind of in a hold pattern right now, whether it be long than short. Um, you know, look maybe by the pullback at 0 0.782 uh, with about a 0 0.77 stop. Uh, Chuck, I do not see you yet. Doesn't mean it's not coming in. I don't get all the emails. So, Chuck, I do not see you, but you should be okay. Let's go to gold here on the daily. Gold, I think, goes higher, um, up $5 today. I think it breaks through that uh, short-term reversal here. That is a possible double top, but I think it moves higher here. All right, guys, so let's talk about what you get one more time. So if this is the kind of stuff that you like, you know, someone to coach, guide, and teach you, then the trading room is hands down the best product we have, period, bar none. So what you get is our best-selling uh, unusual option activity course. It is a $497 course. It's about four hours long. You will get that immediately sent to your inbox the minute you purchase it. And we have three spots left right now. You'll get live audio and visual from five moderators with close to 300 traders throughout the course of the day, um, all trading their own capital um, throughout the course of the day. Then you'll also get the trade alerts via text and email, guys. Gutam, you're good. Uh, and make sure you guys sign up. It's alphashark.com forward slash ttalk. Alphashark.com forward slash ttalk. Um, two spots left, guys. That's it. Everybody have a great, great day. Have a great weekend. Thanks, and I will see everybody in the next webinar sometime soon. Option Hacker, I like. So this is what Option Hacker is. Uh, it gives you the best six – well, today there's been five setups. So it takes all the, the trades and condenses it to the best possible setups. But I think if you're not like a full-time trader, you're not trading professionally, and you're kind of a beginner, this is a little complicated for a beginner trader. All right, thanks, guys. Everybody have a great day trading.